two slick smartphones and one wacky gaming laptop. That's the best of what we've seen here on the first day of IFA in Berlin. Sony's looking to revive its mobile fortunes with the Xperia Z5 Premium. Two big features on this new device. Firstly, it's got a 5.5 inch 4K display. That's considered to be the world's first 4K smartphone. The other one is the autofocus. Now, Sony's engineers have managed to get that down to just 0.03 seconds, making it ideal for capturing Junior's first words. The other big change is that it's running stock Android, which will be a big uh, bonus for all of you Google fans out there. As the name suggests, the Z5 Premium is going to come with a premium price. We don't know that yet, but we probably will by the time it launches in November. Huawei delivered the smartphone surprise of the day with the Mate S, which basically takes the best of Samsung, the best of Apple, and smushes them together. CEO Richard Yu even compared it to the iPhone 6 Plus on stage as he was announcing it, and the comparisons don't end there. From the all-metal back, the way the antennas look, even the fact that there's force touch on the display, as far as Huawei are concerned, it's their iPhone killer. Where this device comes into its own, however, is in the software. There's improved gesture controls, an improved fingerprint sensor, and there's even a new version of the company's knuckle sense technology that allows you to drag your knuckles down the screen in order to launch camera and music apps. There'll be two versions of the device launching this September, both of which come with dual SIM slots. Asus surprised everyone today by launching a gaming laptop that came with its own water cooler. The GX700 is a gaming behemoth. It's got a 17-inch 4K display, Intel Skylake chip, and NVIDIA graphics, so clearly you need to chill it down. And the only way the engineers found to do that was to plug it into this massive, chunky behemoth at the back and pump water through it. Still, you know, You'll do these things to squeeze a few more frames out of Counter-Strike. I know the feeling. Stay tuned all of this week for all of the best stuff from IFA.